Hey everyone, today is a little pet scaling tutorial. We're gonna be using ZModeler for that. Uh, so you might know this tutorial that is like uh, five or six years old. It's a little outdated, so I decided to really remake this. Uh, I really tried to rescale a pet by using this, but I had various problems, especially ZModeler being the program it is. So first of all, let's uh, download ZModeler 3. There's gonna be a link in the in description. So there are generally three ways to download uh, ZModeler. The first way is to uh, 15 days trial period. So if you like, uh, you wanna hop in for one rescaling and then just delete this model and forget about it, it's all good. But uh, in case you wanna buy it, it's like uh, starting three uh, dollars per month. So there's a third way, of course, but I'm sure you will figure it out. Uh, so Let's dive into the modeler and I'm gonna uh, guide you through a little navigation because it's not really trivial and then we're gonna rescale our very first pad. We're gonna be using this custom made model named Overseer. It's a huge werewolf. Uh, we're gonna talk about it at the, about him at the end of the video. For now we're gonna use him as our rescale pad. Pad we're gonna be rescaling. So, I created a little folder called uh, Z import. I'm gonna drag and drop my YDD, drawable dictionary YFT, fragment object, which is, which is of course a skeleton and texture dictionary, which is just textures really. So a little navigation, a little explanation of uh, what the button does, the hotkeys, etc. So I moved my scene viewer from right to left to make it a little more like, I'm a little more like in, 3ds max for my own comfort um, also you might be on your ribbon you might uh, not have these tools it's because for some reason the modeler has them uh, off by default so you really have to just uh, drag your tools out for them to pop up for some reason it's like that by default so uh, by holding your mouse 3 mouse wheel you can rotate in 2d by using Z, we can hop into one of the dimensions. We have perspective mode right here. You can switch between them. Uh, left Alt and left click is rotating in 3D. I, I press Z to zoom out. And then we're only gonna be using front in this tutorial. So let's import our model. We click our blue import button right here, navigate to our Z import folder and we import our fragment, which is a skeleton. And guys, it's really important to have your slide to parts off. So uncheck this or your skinning will be gone. You will not use this model. So you import your YFT. Then it's again, everything I show is extremely crucial because I really spend a lot of time uh, exploring this. You have to rename your skeleton to that global. It's like a uh, full, in games when you export importing the YFT. So that's how he knows he has to assign this skeleton to your model. Uh, if you don't do that, you're gonna be having various problems with your skeleton when you import your YDD drawable dictionary. After you rename the uh, YFT, only after that you can be you can import your YDD. And again, slice to parts must be unchecked or your skinning will be gone. So again, by default, because it's ZModeler, you're gonna uh, be seeing like, uh, oh, where's my model, right? I just imported it. Uh, you're gonna enable L0 level uh, for it to pop up on screen. Uh, so for now, let's hide our model. First, we, first things first, we have to um, scale our skeleton. Um, let's create a box. So yeah, here are the primitives. Uh, I just took a box. Uh, I, I left click once, I zoom in, and approximately right here, when I know that my pet is standing here, so we're just creating ground, I left click again, and I left click one more time, then I click OK, and we just created a ground for our pet, because we're going to be moving our skeleton. Now we have a reference, and uh, it doesn't matter if we scale it down, scale it up, everything I show is going to be the same procedure, trust me. Uh, let's scale our skeleton first. Uh, let's select everything by clicking Shift A. Shift A. 
but uh, uncheck our box. You're gonna hold your left alt and left click on your box to really uncheck it, unselect it. Uh, the modeler pings the program, program it is again, every single problem is uh, Ctrl A to select everything, the modeler is Shift A for whatever reason. Don't forget to leave your primitive mod. Uh, then right click on your bones in the center and go to bones setup mode, it's extremely important to do that. Then you go to modify tab, grab your scaling tool, left click on the, uh, your scene. Here you click all axis and only after that you enable, you enter your values. So let's say, uh, don't scale it like twice or three times, it's uh, really a lot. So let's make it like 115 and then we'll see it in game. Then you press OK. Uh, and in case you wanted to scale it by one axis, not by on all axis. So let's say you just wanted to, to make your uh, pet a little fatter, make him fat. You're gonna enable X constraint right here. Uh, left click again and without checking all axes, let's make this one seven. And it only, it only scaled horizontally. So in case you wanted that, right? Uh, so now you see why we created the ground object. Now we have to uh, move our skeleton up. How do we do that? So we, sh we click uh, Shift D, type Shift D to unselect everything, hold your D. Then we, we go to our hierarchy and we select left alt and left click pelvis, spine root, IK root. We go to our move tool, we enable these options, we enable our Y constraint to only move it on Y axis and we move it until we hit our box. until we hit our box. So, like so. Maybe even a little more up, but it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be too precise, but this is good enough. Now you are really done with your skeleton. Shift D again. Uh, hide it by clicking this button. Unhide our YDD. And now we have to play with pivot point which is this thing. Uh, so pivot point in the motor works a little bit different, like not like in Max, it's uh, a point of attraction to all tools. Uh, so what you gonna have to do is take your pivot point like so and place it to 0, minus 1, 0. Here are the coordinates. Like so. Again, don't have to be too precise, but like 0, Minus one zero. This is good enough. Yeah. It's tense cell if you come from here. Uh, then, what you're gonna have to do is uh, open up your YDD hierarchy and select only the meshes. You don't care about other object, other hierarchy objects. Again, left click. Le ho by holding left alt with holding left alt you only have your meshes selected and only with your point move pivot point moved here so it's going to be an attraction to our scaling tool only after that you go to your scaling tool you scale it to the same parameters we enter for our skeleton which was 115 for all axis like so and on our x axis it was uh, 107 don't hurry, don't unselect everything. You right click, axis, reset to world. Then you shift D to deselect everything. We uh, turn back our skeleton and we see that it fits. After that, you delete your box by right clicking, select, edit, uh, delete. Then you select your YDD which is your model, you hit export, red button, you select your YDD and click auto detect, like so, and you replace it, yes. Then you rename your pet by something like custom or whatever, and you rename your YFT to the same name of your YDD, because they have to be the same name for your custom hash, right? Uh, like we have here. 
So we have to export the export the skeleton with the same name. That's why we renamed one, and then we renamed it to custom and renamed our skeleton to its original name. After we do that, we export it again, but as YFT, and here we hit skeleton only. Export, yes. And now, what we don't have to mess with uh, uh, OpenID at all. We go to our streaming folder. I have a lot of pets here. And I just drag and drop my YFT and YDD that I just did from left to right. In case you want to know how to make your custom pet like so, I'm gonna be making a tutorial on that soon. Uh, for now, let's uh, go in game to see uh, the size of our pet. Now that we are in game, I'm gonna be using uh, Lambda menu to uh, spawn my custom pet, player, player skin, players, uh, not players, but uh, spawn player model by name and here I enter my YDT's name which is Overseer here is our werewolf if we go to a male pet we can see that we are significantly bigger so it, it's only 115 if you make it like 300 you're gonna be huge so be very careful with the parameters well we are also a bit wider than usual pet you see so yeah uh, that's the end of the video but I have one more thing for you in case you really want to get this model or any other models uh, it has a variety of textures uh, it glows at night uh, you can follow the link in the description I really can't make this uh, free because uh, uh, of the security problems uh, so we partnered with Tebex there are other pets no matter when you watch this during uh, the summer or whatever, there are going to be a lot more. Uh, so yeah, uh, in case you have further questions, uh, feel free to join my Discord server where I have English section. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Please share your results, whatever you made, it's really interesting. Uh, it's been a great pleasure making this video for you. Uh, but I have to be honest, it's probably gonna be my last video with the modeler because uh, it was really frustrating, to say the least. So yes, see you guys uh, in the next video, which is gonna be uh, creating your custom pet from scratch video. Uh, take care.